guys, back with more Alone in the Dark. Let's go and open a cellar door. So I was having a little issues with the camera. Hopefully we'll get that set. I believe the crank should be in here. A lot of bugs in here. What's this? Circuit box. Switch. That's definitely should be for the boiler, I believe. Nothing else we could do here, right? No. Guys, let me know what you think of the uh, Alone in the Dark, and if you played the original, I'd like to know your thoughts. Seems pretty interesting so far. Give it a little bit more time, maybe to pick up some more. So we got that piece in there. Just the switch would be for that. We go maybe check if that's for the electric. Can we open this? Ah. Totally missed that. It worked. Valve. Okay. Take the shovel. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. They know the right time to like, put them in. I wonder what this puzzle's for. We're gonna figure that out. Jeremy? <gasps> what the hell is going on here? Where's the body? This is interesting.
seven five nine, I believe it is. So seven. So seven five nine. Seven five nine. Jeremy's memories in the wine cellar. <sighs> this wasn't here before. I knew it. I knew it would work. You're getting good at this, Carnby. Maybe a little too good at this. Hartwood's family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. That looks long, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what do we got here? There's something missing. See, I didn't get that shotgun. I must have missed something. this got it the sledge better not break quick Dead. Son of a. Jeremy sketched this chapel in his book, so it must be important. Looks like I'll need more medallions to open it, though. I don't think I have everything I need.
god, this guy's so annoying. They made it like kind of hard to aim and shoot. Damn. In the balls. Fuck you. Oh, jeez. Guessing maybe I there was some way for me to grab the shotgun earlier, but I must have missed it. They're gonna pop out on me, I can feel it. Oh my god, I don't know how he to see me. This is where I came from. This looks like this would be something here. Ah, oh, great. Damn, that got me. I'm not gonna lie, that got me.
They're too quick and I'm too slow. No, 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 no. I want to go there. I wanted to go in the room. Damn, I messed up. I wanted to go in the room he just came out of. I think I came out of here. Yeah. Right? No, I came from here. Oh, come on. Too many of them. I gotta get out of here. <sighs> Guys, I was so glitchy, it was not funny. Wow. This is where the door should be, right? Kind of feels a little dated to me if you... I don't know. Please don't touch her. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you... My letter. Oh, keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I mean, 
I made a terrible promise with some the dark man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. At least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Teruea? Why did you want to go there? Well, I can't go there. Not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should Look I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let him take you! I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tied glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman, maybe you with all your knowledge you somehow knew a way, a way to find me again, perhaps in Teruaya. Oh, my love, Jeremy. Luggage key. She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Jeremy's room. Take a look at the map. Hey, there's all this stuff here. Oh, now we can use that. What is that? Telescope? A telescope lens. Why would he lock it up? The drawing room. Where is that again? Oh, we got the room switched. Oh boy.
Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? What the hell was that? Now we're talking. Well, now I got it. Lost Plantations of Louisiana, Thierry Bricklow, 1917. The Assetto was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Dessetto kept a modest production of Paris tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Dessetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Dessetto and free this... Locked. That'd be great. Guys, that's what I'm talking about with the glitches. I, I literally got stuck on the couch. Crazy. I don't know. Definitely not worth 60 bucks, that's for sure. That's crazy. some more of that whiskey go ahead detective I don't think I can stomach any more anyway am I bothering you on the contrary detective I enjoy watching professionals at work No. 
There's more of that aggressive rot. On the commonplace of evil, there lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sun I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity, a spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. Alright, guys. So I'm gonna end it here. Sometimes in the cutscene, I feel like it looks like a PS3 game. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you aren't already, please subscribe and drop a like. I'd like to know your opinion on this game. Catch you in the next one.